Uh, so these guys reacted very quickly to being Mayans this game. They grabbed Loom right away. That suggests to me that they purposefully went Mayans Mirror again. Last game, we saw, uh, we saw Nikov delay for a couple of maybe like 15 seconds before he got Loom. It was a pretty slow delay, uh, suggesting that that was Team Random. I think they wanted to do a rematch with Mayans here, so we'll see another Mayans v. Mayans War. Okay, everybody is uh, about equal here. You can see Bact is, again, about 5-10 seconds ahead of Nikov, villager-wise, but it should not amount to a hill of beans. Okay, maps right off the bat. What are we looking at? Bact's got both of his boars up to the top side of his map. He's going to be walking around looking for his sheep with his eagle. He can wall in the back side of his area if he wants to. He'll have a safe, small gold pile there. Pond needs to be blocked in, but I'm sure Bat will take care of it. Uh, main stone on the front is on top of a hill. Otherwise, uh, he could get pressured from the top of that hill if he loses it early. Can certainly wall himself here as well. So I expect Bat to have a couple of safe gold piles. I don't really expect him to have safe stone. But we'll see how this game shakes out. Okay, as of now, Bat has three vills on wood. Let's wait and see where the fourth villager goes here for a second. Fourth vill goes over to wood. Okay, no big surprise here. Mayan's Mirror. Uh, not surprising at all to see four bills on wood, to see a three militia drush. That is what we will expect in this particular game. Who knows? Uh, on Nikov's side, Nikov has uh, three bills on wood. Not thinking about having that extra wood for a barracks by the looks of it. He's roaming around with his eagle, trying to maybe find the boar of Bact, but I don't think he's going to find it. Nikov has found, uh, I think, all of his sheep, so kudos to him. But I don't know, did he find his boars as well? May or may not know about that boar. It might have moved into the fog of war, but he might know that it's there. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he knows about both boars. I don't see both boars. One of them's dead, that's why, dummy. Come on, Killer B, get in the game, bro. Okay, uh, the eagle from Bact is coming forward. Uh, a little bit hard to see Bact's color, so let's do all G in this game. Bact will be blue, Nikov will be red. Bact has scouted his side. He can definitely see what we saw about maybe closing this entire side in. Uh, with a couple of walls here pretty early, he's already building houses on top of that hill, so I, I project that these walls will come uh, up this hill and then back down the other side of the hill. He's just now coming forward with his eagle. He's not going to be early enough to steal a boar or any sheep, uh, but for the time being, he will uh, get a little bit of an idea of what Nikov is up to. Nikov does have more villagers on wood now, but I, I don't know. I don't think he's going to go with a drush here. He's just a little bit too far behind on the wood eco. This is a very normal build, I think, for a fast feudal, but hey, what do I know? Anyway, Eagle's still roaming around for Bact. He's going to roam right into the TC arrow fire here. He's going to take a lot of damage. Man, oh man. Uh, that wasn't good for Bact. Uh, maybe, maybe he just gave up because he was getting hit, but he was at least able to uh, make Nikov garrison the TC and make this boar go back. Bact will, oh, Nikov will use a berry villager. Brilliant move by Nikov, huh? Seamless, seamless move. Didn't even halfway lose that boar. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nikov's going to waste nine meat, uh, but he will get Bact's eagle there. So Bact is at a major disadvantage in this game. Having your eagle alive is huge because that unit can roam around. It can be very effective as part of your drush, but it can also just reveal a bunch of the map. As if this game goes deep, you want to know where all those extra gold piles are. I think that uh, we are going to see a major, major advantage for Nikov. Score-wise, we'll see a huge difference, but, you know, honestly, knowing what the map has to offer is incredibly important. Nikov is just now scouting forward. Uh, we will see him continue to build up. I don't know. Is he going to build more walls on this side of the map? Looks like he will drop a barracks on the back side of the map, even though he knows his opponent is here. Uh, he will have that up in the Dark Age, but I can't imagine a drush because it's not on, this, on the right side of the map to really hit his opponent. We shall see how this goes. Nikov, again, has a good map to wall in. Bact has a good map to wall in as well. But uh, his lack of an eagle warrior at this point in the game is a real... Uh, it's, a, it's a real disadvantage, I would say. A real disadvantage. Uh, Bact will continue to wall himself in. Maybe some palisades coming on the top side here. Yeah, an entire line of palisades to go on the top side of Bact's area. He can easily block in this. He can block it in here if he wants. He can do whatever he wants on that side. Should be totally safe and sound for some time. Does need to wall in the bottom. He's coming forward with some vills. This is interesting. I guess they're just headed to a lumber camp. This vill probably will just build some walls. There you go. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Bact clicks to feudal on 22 vills. Nikov on his side of the map does not seem to have that much food in the bank. 
Now he's already building his militia. Interesting. Nikov built his uh, barracks on the wrong side here. He he did see Back's base before this uh, barracks was going up, but I guess he decided he wanted it there, and he's going to just slowly but surely work his way across the map with those initial militia. He's going to find that uh, Nikov is walled in, but I guess Back. I'm sorry, he's going to find that Back is walled in, but I guess Nikov is already a little bit committed to this drush, so I guess he's going to stick with it. Milmano, it's the killer. What's up, buddy? Milmano lives. Nikov and Bakht 1v1 on Arabia. We just saw a pretty good, a very good Mayans war between these two guys. Uh, Nikov had a little better of a map. They're going to redo it. Uh, this game is a little bit uh, more even map-wise. So we will see if uh, if Bakht can win this game versus Nikov with a little bit more fair of a fair and balanced of a situation. Nikov's going to be milling deer on the back. I guess he's identified that his opponent is walled up and is trying to uh, basically boom up a little bit. Nikov knows that uh, back does not have a drush on the map, probably based on the score. Um, and that's going to allow him to basically just do whatever he wants on his side of the map. You can mill deer out in the middle of no man's land if you want, uh, because, well, your opponent's not going to have anything to do with you for a little while. Double archery range coming right now for back. Nikov can see both of them from his point of view. Not like it's surprising to see double ranges, but it's always good to actually lay eyes on what your opponent is doing. Uh, we can see Bakht is not on gold. Of course, Nikov won't know that, but um, but we know that. We know that Bakht is not on gold right now. Uh, so he can probably build... Yeah, he's not going to build very many archers here. He's going to go with skirms by the looks of it. A couple of skirms would be good enough to uh, hold this army back from Nikov. Nikov, for the time being, will keep putting pressure on houses there. I guess he will win a house on that front side. No, not quite. What did he knock down? I heard something die. Maybe just a palisade. Nikov says no. Villager comes over to repair just in time. Skirmishers slowly rolling out of those ranges. Uh, and Bact will continue to be on 25 vils. He'll continue to build up his eco for the time being. Nikov's still in the feudal age. He did go with a Drush here. Drush isn't doing much, but it is doing its job. It's keeping his opponent busy. Bact will respond with a couple of skirms, but hopefully not more than three or four. Looks like four skirms there. Uh, for Bact's sake, I think he should save his resources now. Uh, if you look at his side of the map, he's floating nothing for the time being, uh, but he will soon be able to uh, start taking some gold, I hope. Uh, Nikov on the other side is going to go to feudal. He has chewed through three out of four of the deer. Uh, two and a half out of the four deer over here. Uh, and he will soon be able to click up. He's on uh, nearly enough food. He will soon have the gold. He's palisaded himself in pretty nicely. Just needs to drop a couple of buildings here uh, in the next couple of minutes. And he can click up. Two vills walk to this side to do what? Build a lumber camp, I suppose. Blacksmith coming up on the front. Archery range coming up behind the walls. And it uh, looks like Nikov will go to the castle age here pretty quickly. Those skirms are still there. Bax built a couple more of them, and he's added in a few archers as well. That army will eh, slowly but surely whittle down this drush. I think this is an absolute hands-down win um, for if you're just grading the early game for Nikov. <laughs> Excuse me. This uh, this drush has just kept Bax busy for so long. Nikov's going to be clicked to castle. He's going to be partway there before that army even thinks about coming forward. Villagers able to take all of these deer on the side, saving uh, saving Nikov quite a lot of wood. Taking those four deer on the deer patch is going to save him a crap load of wood. He could have pushed them. You know, his eagle could have pushed those deer over, uh, but he decided that the eagle was better forward, and I trust him. I trust in Nikov, I suppose. Right now, it is 30 vils each. Bact is going to click up here. Eh, not very soon. Oh, boy. He's actually invested a lot more in feudal pressure. He's going double range skirms for the time being. Has he transitioned to anything real of a gold eco? Yeah, just three vils on gold. This is going to go really interestingly. I don't know. I think Bact's here. Bact is, Bact is in a lot of trouble here. He's got 10 units on the field. Uh, Nikov is going to need to do some walling to keep him out. But uh, mostly skirmishers here. So even Palisade should be able to hold the line uh, for quite some time. Trash units. Thanks for the compliment, dude. Or dudette. I'm not going to assume that you're a dude. Maybe you're the one in a million ladies who watches AOC. I didn't know Smarthy was a, a female for a long time. Like, for the first couple weeks I was streaming. I was like, this person's in my channel. Um, I just assumed that everyone was a dude. And uh, Smarthy's like, yeah, man, uh, 
kind of insulted by you calling me uh, bro all the time. Okay, anyway, uh, Nikov pretty damn heavily invested in gold right now. He has no stone within his walls, so we're not going to see a castle uh, for him right off the bat. We're going to see double ranges. He must be building out archers, I would think. Yeah, double range archers coming for him for the time being. Like we said, palisades are plenty to keep out an army that is this much skirms. Nikov did a great job with his drush to keep an eye on this army as it built. He knew that there weren't archers in this army. Uh, and he, you know, because he knows that, he knows that palisades here are enough. Doing just exactly what he needs to do here. Nikov's playing a great game, but I'll stop kissing his ass right now. Archer's starting to roll out for him. Doesn't have enough units to really fight backed right now. Uh, Bact is going to roam around and find that his opponent's walled in on the backside as well. Nikov's going to need a lot more crossbows. Is there a hole in that wall? Nikov walks through a hole in that wall. Okay. There is a tiny hole in the wall that I didn't notice. Maybe Nikov just knocked down that palisade. He's going to go forward with five archers, which will soon be crossbows? Question mark. Yeah, they're crossbows already. Uh, looks like those crossbows will be plus one damage. They'll be roaming forward looking for some action. Uh, Nikov will actually build a couple of eagles as well. Castle Age eagles are not the beefiest, but they are good enough to deal with skirmishers. Kudos to him. That's a very wise choice. He's added in uh, two eagles. I think those are both brand new. I don't think either of those are his initial scout, but I could be wrong. Those two eagles will clean up a lot of skirmishers, and that will give his crossbowmen free reign. Million fours here, yep. He is. Trash nuts. Dude, man, LOL. I noticed Marthy was a female after the second line that she posted when I first saw her. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks for the compliments, man. Appreciate that, everybody. That's very nice of you. Hey, man, you gotta, uh, you know, spread a little love around. Appreciate it very much. Uh, Bact has walled himself in with stone walls here. He's got double ranges down. I wonder how many skirmishers there are here. Yeah, more skirms. Couple of archers mixed in. Back to still in the feudal age, but he can click up any moment. Got a blacksmith down of his own. He's going to click up here, and he's going to probably be okay for a little while. Let's see. Everywhere is stonewalled except for the very back door. By the time Nikov gets there, I think back's going to be okay. So all hope is not lost if your opponent beats you to the castle age, but uh, very nice play from Nikov, adding in a couple of eagles, pushing these skirms around. Those skirms would have done really well against the initial four or five crossbows from the red player, uh, but but uh, Nikov's not going to let him do that. Second TC and third TC coming for the red player, so Nikov's not going hardcore into military. He's going to have 14 units. He's going to focus most of his eco on uh, building up his or most of his uh, resources on building up his uh, villager count. Okay, Bact is roaming around with a mixed army for now, just kind of keeping an eye on the situation. Secondary walling coming down from Bact, doing a pretty nice job to hold Nikov out right now, but he does he definitely does need to come from behind in this game. Bact's going to be a couple villagers behind. He's going to be a couple minutes behind of the castle age. He's going to be a couple of units ahead, but uh, a lot of his army right now is skirmishers, so he doesn't have an opportunity to really kill villagers. Right now, he's really just thinking about defending himself. A couple eagles will roam in from Nikov. Uh, back can probably take them down, but uh, they will do well as a meat shield uh, with these crossbows behind him. Castle Age almost in for Bact. He will go padded archer armor. Nikov still has not got it. So Bact will have a little bit um, a little bit of arrow resistance here. Soon Castle Age will come in. We'll have to see if he goes elite skirm or if he goes crossbowman. He doesn't have a lot of archers, but um, Elite Skirm is really... It's its not an upgrade that I think is a winning upgrade. It's an upgrade of defending yourself. Yeah, he's got a lot more archers, so he'll go Crossbowman uh, early on in the Castle Age. I would think... Let's see. Bact, you are the pro. You tell us what to do here, buddy. Bact will hit the Castle Age, and he will go with nothing. For, yep, Crossbowman on the way. Crossbowman by Canero Bosa. There you go, guys. Now you know how to do it. The, uh, the Lumber Camp upgrade immediately, Bodkin Arrow and Crossbowman, uh, even though there's a ton of skirms here, yeah, he's absolutely got to, uh, you know, going elite skirm there would be, whew, it's almost like an admission of guilt. Anyway, Nikov's still coming forward, he will have uh, only 17 units, so he's just using his crossbows right now to distract Bact. Uh, for the time being, uh, he's keeping Bact honest back at home, Siege Workshop coming up in defense for Nikov, anticipating a lot of archers and skirms coming forward. Three TCs down. Nikov's in fantastic shape at this point in the game. He's going to be 16 vills ahead. Granted, he's spending all of the, his extra resources from those vills on building more villagers right now. 
but uh, that boom will soon turn around and uh, start basically allowing him to propel a ton of military out on the field. Keep an eye on Nikov's build here. He's on 57 vils. He's got a defensive siege workshop and a mangonel coming. He knows his opponent's going to be ahead of him militarily. He's going to start walling in the back door uh, while he can. Both of his ranges are idle. Excuse me for the time being. What was that noise? Uh, but he's going to add in a university now. He'll get ballistics right now. Uh, Bax's army is not going to be able to do much. They can camp out here and uh, idle a lot of the wood eco of Nikov, but Nikov can pretty easily transition over to the other side. Nikov should have done that already. He's way too invested on this wood line. Uh, but I think he's going to be just fine. He'll probably lose a couple of vils uh, before identifying this. Looks like back to will grab one, two vils, maybe a third. Yeah, it looks like three vils went down there. Uh, Nikov will transition to the other side of the map. So Nikov's in good shape. Bact is doing a good job to at least try to put some pressure on him. Uh, Bact is now 20 villagers behind, and here comes a mangonel shot that really could end the game. Nikov with the hill advantage, he's using every advantage right now. Uh, he'll lose his mangonel, but in the process, his crossbowmen will knock down several of Bact's army. Bact now has a slightly larger army, but right here, right now, Nikov's got the better army. Nikov had a vil forward to repair that mangonel, uh, but in the end, it did die a little too quickly. He'll push Bact's army away. Uh, and you gotta say, man, this is going really, really, really well for the red player. 20 villagers ahead. He's a couple military behind. But um, when you go three TCs, you're thinking a little bit about defense. Backed on the other side is on a one TC build, which means he needs to get something done. If your opponent has three TCs, you gotta be killing villagers to uh, to keep them equal with you. Right now, we will see Bact come around this side and kill this vill. He can pop through these palisades pretty quickly. There's actually a hole in the wall. Maybe he can do some damage. This TC should keep most of those vills safe, but we'll see how it goes. Right now we see Bact running across the map. There's a wolf and several crossbowmen in chase. Bye, Holmes. Already 11 vills more. Thanks for the compliment. Bye. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Bye, Holmes. Yeah, Nikov runs back with that vill. He's going to lose it, but, uh, you know, all's fair in love and war. Right now, he's in really, really good shape. He'll garrison that TC. Uh, these crossbows may work their way in, but we're going to start to see this boom sling around like a boomerang, and all those resources will stop, start popping into crossbowmen. Uh, we just see two ranges still from uh, Nikov. Let's keep an eye on when he adds a third. Right now, he's on 71 vills. I thought he might add a third by now, but he is pretty actively building out mangonels. Mangonel will push this back for the time being. Nikov's strategy here seems to be pretty flawless. Uh, he went with a drush early on, kept back busy, walled himself in. Went to the castle age before his opponent. Built some crossbows, kept back playing defensively. Uh, took his foot off the gas militarily and uh, spent a lot of resources on building up three TCs and what is now a huge economy. Nikov still is so balanced. I mean, he's got a little bit of uh, wood floating. But man, oh man, he's absolutely dominating this game. Back to will click to Imperial. He's got a 1TC Imperial build, 48 villagers. Absolutely needs to get something done here. Uh, he does have an opportunity. Militaries are equal, but maybe he could sneak up and find a way to hit Nikov. But otherwise, he's just going to get squeezed out of this game. Everybody likes the Viper, the way he wins games. Um, but I feel, like, I feel like somebody should change their name to the Python. Maybe Nikov should be the Python. I feel like he's just squeezing people out of games. He doesn't beat you uh, in any one moment. He just slowly but surely squeezes you out. Anyway, I'm ass kissing again. I gotta stop ass kissing all the time. Uh, Nikov was a player of the month last month, so I gotta show him some love. This month's player is backed. We're seeing backed right now, having his hands absolutely full with Nikov. Uh, this is a set of four. Game one went to Nikov. Game two looks like it's swinging in Nikov's direction. Uh, barring something magical happening here for Bact. Bact is on stone. He's got 276 in the bank as we speak. Crossbows are flirting with each other on the side. Nikov with no stone in the bank whatsoever. Spent his stone on TCs. Doesn't seem very interested in castles to take over territory. But that being said, he is going to come forward and start taking some stone. Uh, let's see. Sadly, he hasn't shown too much in the 1v1 turn, he says Nano. Yeah, I mean... Again, I usually have a little bit of a wrong approximation of things, but my approximation of things is that Nikov's rating has gone up uh, by about, if I'm remembering this correctly, his 1v1 rating has gone up by about 300 points in the last four or five months. I mean, he's made massive, massive leaps and bounds. He's 24-54. 
Uh, highest rated player in the game right now, if I, uh, if I still remember correctly in 1v1. He's playing like an absolute beast. And I think it's mostly just practicing and playing a lot. Oh boy, hole in back's wall here. This is going to be really bad for him. Uh, he's still going to Imperial. His TC, his only TC, is um, is not able to build more Vils. So he'll be on 45 Vils and dropping. There's just uh, 7 or 8 crossbows here, but that's all you need. All you need is 7 or 8 crossbows. Back's got a pretty well-built defense. Those crossbows do have to walk in front of the TC if they want to get any closer. Uh, but they will grab a couple of farmers. They will walk by here. A couple of them will die to TC Arrow Fire. Uh, but they will... Oh, none of them will die. Okay, TC Arrow Fire doesn't kill either of them. Maybe there's just not that many villagers garrisoned. Uh, but yeah, Bact is in a whole lot of trouble. Getting raided on the back here. The one good thing going for him is that he's Imperial. He's going to go with Chemistry. He's going to have crossbows going forward. But if this army gets killed, it's absolutely positively GG. Okay, uh, Crossbowman still chopping down villagers. Backed on 37 vills now. Nikov on 98. I think if Backed knew what we know, he would GG out of this game. Uh, but I don't think he really knows exactly how uh, intensely Nikov is booming. I don't think he exactly knows. Maybe he does know. He just doesn't want to think about it. Crossbow's still in the back here from Nikov. Backed will eventually go back and clean them up. Uh, villager count, though, is 39 right now for the blue player. back has got a little bit in the back to fight with. He's got a little bit of gold. He does have stone. He can drop a castle on top of this hill to defend himself. I think he's very focused on microing right now. I think he knows he needs to take a really, really good fight. I think he knows he needs to kill a lot of villagers. Uh, so he's not thinking that defensively. Okay, he, we will see that castle. back has got to be pretty careful because Nikov is maybe going to come forward and see this. This skirm is going to find these vills. And uh, if Nikov is paying attention to his map, he might run in. No, it looks like he will continue to uh, go back and fight back's army here. Lots of weird terrain here. Lots of ups and downs on these, like, hills and valleys. Uh, looks like Bact is on top of the hill right now, so not a great fight for Nikov. Uh, he's going to try to uh, get away from this fight, but he will lose some units there. Wheelbarrow coming in. Imperial Age coming in for Nikov, who's on 95 vils. He's going to have four archery ranges. At least four that I can see. He'll still have his defensive siege workshop. Uh, he should be in really good shape. He's starting to grab relics. Wheelbarrow on the way. Maybe a little bit of a, a late wheelbarrow. <laughs> wheelbarrow coming in at 35 minutes. Milmano would know better than me if he's still out there, but that seems incredibly late to me. Uh, but hey, other than that, it's been a pretty damn flawless game. Back's going to get pushed back from this. He's got to get something done with that military. I think he knows... I think he knows the score. I think he knows how this game is going to shake out. He's trying to still do some damage. Nikov hits him right in the split there. Back splits that army. Nikov kills half of it with his uh, mangonel. And all of a sudden, the military counts are dead even. Yeah, it's super late. Yeah. Do, 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 do. He won't. He never plays 1v1 turn tournaments. Okay, then I hope we will see something nice soon. You should be having handcart by now. Yeah, I, I would think so. Uh, Imperial Age on the way. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a really good point to say that um, to say that Nikov hasn't performed uh, at the level he's playing right now ever in a tournament. I guess the only point that I was trying to make is that he's never been at this level, like um, ratings wise or even just playing wise. At least since I've been watching the game intensely for the last like you know maybe eight months or so. Uh, I haven't seen Nikov play at this high of a level. So it's it's a little bit like he's untested, you know? Like, he underperformed in tournaments when he was less good at the game. So we'll see if he... Let's see if he performs at his actual level in the next tourney. I think it's, a, it's an unknown quantity. It is a really good thing to keep an eye on. Players who can play well in tournaments are a special breed. No matter what sport it is, it does actually take uh, something really special to do that. Okay, back gets his castle up on the hill, but he was just getting pythoned out of that game once again. Nikov with a nice little win there. 